Hi everyone, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this reading. Now let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on your cards. This is an almost personal reading, right? I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube and thank you for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. Also, I'm now accepting personal readings, so if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is click on the link in the description box down below. I'm also going to link it up here. Alright. Your overall energy for this reading is the Wheel of Fortune and then the Lover's card. Alright. We have the Hanged Man. We'll get the ones that flipped, all right? You have the King of Cups, the Seven of Cups, all right? The Eight of Swords, give me a few seconds, I just want this all in the shot i know this is a little bit annoying king of cups the eight of swords the sun card all right and then you have the king of pentacles the three of cups The Judgment card. The Eight. The Six of Swords. The Six of Cups. And then the Magician. Alright. Okay. There's quite the choice here. Two Kings. A choice between two Kings, I have to say. Underneath the deck is the Two of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and then the Knight of Swords. Alright, you know, someone wants to charge in. Someone really wants to charge in. They want to tell you how they feel. I'm getting this is someone from your past. Someone you've blocked. Alright, someone you've blocked. Someone you've really moved away from. And they're trying to find a way to come back to you. They're, they're trying to find a way to message you. Maybe they're wanting to travel towards you. Um, could be overseas. Could be from an, in the. Uh, you could be. Uh, you could both be in different countries or in different cities. But this is someone who wants to travel towards you. But before they do so, they want to tell you that hey, uh, I'm gonna come visit you. I want to talk to you. Is it okay if you give me spare me like a like a lunch or like dinner but take it how it resonates just take it how it resonates all right but this is someone who still has so much love for you all right You have the Wheel of Fortune and then the Lover's card. Alright. You've closed one cycle out and then you're moving into a brand new one. You actually have a choice between two people, as I said earlier. Two kings. But male, female, it's not really a gender-specific reading. We're looking at the energies here. But this is someone who... Someone from your past, you closed out the cycle. Someone new wanting to come in, you're opening up that cycle. A new chapter is about to come in for you. Someone from your past could be a karmic, could be a karmic that you dealt with, all right? The lessons you really learned. It was painful for you, but you understand that you needed to go through that lesson for you to grow. 
whoever's coming in has deep love for you there is past life connection with this person could be a soulmate right a friendlier energy a friendlier very very friendly energy all right like not friendly like they want to be friends with you but more on just lighter energy so i'm getting i'm sorry i have to say i i'm getting this as a soulmate someone who is who lifts you up i'm getting lifts you up this is someone that you've been asking the universe to come in you've been asking you've been you've been um really praying and asking the universe trying to manifest that hey please let the person meant for me come in now i'm ready this is you asking spirit all right asking spirit and please let the person come in and here they are looking at you directly i'm getting they've been there all along but you haven't really noticed or maybe they're they're someone you someone you've you know had uh been with in a gathering but haven't really met all right um a friend's friend or uh a colleague's friend i, I don't know just take it how it resonates you have the hanged man to the king of pentacles could be a pisces all right with earth placements take it how it resonates but this is someone who you've been waiting for for so long all right and now they come in i am actually getting that once you meet this person there's some sort of enlightenment like why does it click with this person i just met them today i just met them like an hour ago why does it click with them why, why was it why does it feel light and familiar with this person this is someone who is very um stable in their career uh financially stable as well um very grounded energy uh what else this is someone who's very serious takes their time to decide but when they decide it's something that's final takes their time to make an offer but when they make that offer it's something that they're sure of i'm getting this person would feel as well and why does it feel familiar like i've met this person before when it's my first time meeting them or if it's my first time talking to them they're very fun to be with all right and then you have the king of cups to the three of cups all right this is someone who loves you very much but for some reason it just never worked out with them You're the only one for this person. But I'm sorry, I have to say, they've put you in a third party relationship in the past. But this is someone who loves you very much. And still in love with you. In love with you still. Could be uh, dealing with. Uh, A water sign all right cancer pisces scorpio very much in love with you but you know you know very much that this connection will not work because they were just meant to pass through this is someone who was just meant to pass through. Spirit is showing to me 
for some reason the Suez Canal you know that incident um, about late last year where there was a big coalition no not really a coalition but the one ship one uh, one ship was stuck in the Suez Canal this person is very stuck on you but they're meant to just pass by but for some reason they're very stuck on you right but for you on the other hand you've healed you have very much healed from this relationship you know that this person wasn't meant to be in your life but whatever lesson that you needed to learn you really learned and I'm getting in a very harsh way in a very harsh way all right you have the seven of cups to the judgment card you have a choice I tell you you have a choice between someone new the king of Pentacles and then someone from your past the judgment card is my card of second chances also it's a card of making a big judgment call a judgment call where whatever you choose it's going to make a very major change in your life but i'm getting you're actually not confused about the choice you know who you're going to choose and you know who you're going to let down I'm getting you're very much guided during this time on what kind of decision you have to make the eight of swords to the six of swords the person from your past is very much stuck on you but you've really moved away from this but they're still there very stuck they can't seem to move forward i'm getting they really need the clarity whatever it is they really need the clarity they really need to hear it from you that's what i'm hearing right now they need to hear it from you all right you have the sun card the six of cups and then the magician card the sun card a lot of happiness coming your way spirit is telling you arms open wide open your arms wide all right you're about to embrace a lot of abundance a lot of love a lot of happiness a lot of joy a lot of bliss something that you deserve You have the six of cups to the magician card um how can i say it you know this king of pentacles i told you this could be a friend's friend or a colleague's friend someone you never maybe you've seen a glimpse of or maybe you've just been hearing the name from your friends and that they're this is their friend blah 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 something like that and now you're just about to meet them all right 
But I'm also getting heavily that the person from your past is really wanting to manifest you back. It's always your choice whether or not you who you want to be with, all right? I'm not telling you who you should really choose. But I'm just reading the energies of the cards. You're manifesting a soulmate. You're really manifesting a soulmate. The six of the six of cups is a soulmate card, not just someone wanting to return from the past, but this is someone you have a very strong past connection with, past life connection with. You're manifesting them. All right, be careful with your thoughts, because thoughts become things. Now is the time to really be careful with what you're thinking of. All right. Let's move the cards a little bit because I want to see. We're going to do uh, um, a few cards for the specific signs later. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Outcome. Let's see the outcome. Have the two of swords i mean the two of pentacles the eight of pentacles and then the star advice for you The two of pentacles, the, th the eight of pentacles, and then the star card. All right. There is a choice, but you know who you're going to choose. You're going to choose someone who's willing to work on this for you, with you. All right. Someone who's willing to work on a relationship with you. And I'm getting someone who is your wish come true. Advice for you, the four of swords, the high priestess, and then the five of swords. Don't doubt this, all right? Don't doubt this. The high priestess, trust your intuition. And then the four of swords, take time. Maybe if you want to ask for a sign, go ahead. It's a time it's a good time to ask for a sign from the universe all right other messages please you have no whatever it is that you're asking the answer of spirit is no You have listened to your intuition with the uh, high priestess there. Listen to your intuition. Last card. You have look for a sign. <laughs> Things I've been saying the last few cards. Look for a sign. Other messages, please. You have imprisonment so someone is not imprisonment like literally imprisoned but someone is imprisoned in their thoughts the eight of swords someone's imprisoned in their thoughts
you have wealthy man king of pentacles wealthy man oops okay we'll get that you have house someone who is close-knit all right someone's close-knit i'm getting romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring all right your feelings are real and worth exploring all right i want to do one card specific per per sign all right pisces let's go first pisces you have the Ten of Wands. So after that very long journey and really releasing the person that you needed to release from your past, all right, all of the struggles from your past you've released, the right person comes in. All right? Cancer. Cancer, the High Priestess, this is your card very much in your energy during this time things will unveil for you you will understand who this person is also listen to your intuition all right you have the magician for scorpio magician for scorpio all right you can manifest anything you want just believe in it and also thoughts become things so please please be careful with what you're thinking you have Aries, Wheel of Fortune, Lucky Turn of Events, follow your heart, follow your heart. Alright, um, Leo, you have the Knight of Pentacles, someone who's very stable coming towards you. Took time for this person to come forward. But it's something very sure that's yours. Sag, King of Cups. King of Cups showed up earlier in this reading. So this is someone who is showing up wanting to show you that they still love you. But I'm not really sure if you're wanting to accept. It's always your choice, Sag. It's always your choice. But yeah. How we read the King of Cups earlier. It's still the energy. They were just meant to pass through. And not to stay in your life. But it's always your choice. All right, Taurus, the Four of Pentacles. You could be hanging on to money, all right? You could be hanging on to money. Also, the house, the gated house. So you could be very much focused on your family, focused on your home, where you're very much just inside your house. It's time for you to get out, all right? Meeting this person will require you to come out of your house. Okay, what else? Virgo. Two cards for Virgo. You have the Three of Cups and then the Hanged Man. I'm getting... Um, you will remind yourself that this person has put you in a third-party relationship. Or maybe you're still in the phase where you're assessing that it was just someone who would not commit to you. Maybe you're on the brink of realizing that, all right?
Capricorn. Capricorn, Five of Swords. Um, a lot of selfish energy. All right, I'm reading selfish energy. So maybe you realize that the person from your past was just very acting selfishly. All right. Was taking advantage of you. But now you know better, Capricorn. Now you just know better. All right, Libra. You have the lover's card. You realize that the person, the person from your past, the person you just left, again, the Suez Canal was just meant to pass by, was a little stuck for a while, but what's meant to be will always be they're just meant to pass by you they were just meant to stop for a while and you know you need to travel to your next destination whoever is coming your way whoever is coming your way is the right person for you Gemini. All right, the Queen of Wands. Gemini, understand, you're very powerful. You're attractive, you're magnetic. People are so attracted towards you. You're driven, you're ambitious, and you can have anyone you want. And lastly, Aquarius. <gasps> All right, Aquarius, the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, I'm getting the focus right now, is to rebuild your life. Um, whatever it was, that, the separation that you've... Sorry, for some reason, Spirit has highlighted the zipper. So there was a separation for you, Aquarius, a very painful situation that you, need, that you separated from. And now your focus really is to rebuild your life. Once you rebuild... The right person will come in. All right. If you've noticed, all of these cards came out in the initial reading. The only thing that didn't come out was a Queen of Wands. All right. So I hope something in this reading resonated for you. And if it did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all so much. And I'll see you in the next reading. Stay blessed.